And uh, I'm going to start with uh, Tech from St. Paul. Tech, welcome to the show. You have a question for Ron. Yeah, I do. Uh, this is a debate me and my friends have been having for like the past couple of years. So the question is, is entertainment like movies, uh, things like that, allowed in the New Testament? I know they don't talk about it, but like, you know, maybe going to the Colosseum for them and watching people fight, that kind of thing. Is that in our day allowed? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I think that there are certain things in Scripture that may not necessarily be addressed. There are certain gray areas, as it were, but we can still find certain principles from Scripture. For example, the Apostle Paul acknowledged that some of his uh, followers had a more sensitive conscience than other people and that we should never do anything that would violate the conscience of a weaker brother or sister even though the thing in itself, whatever they were talking about, whether it was meat that was originally dedicated to idols or whatever it was, even though it's perfectly acceptable in itself to do, nevertheless you shouldn't do it if it wounds or in some way uh, hurts a, another brother or sister with a weaker conscience. Uh, there's also the issue of being beyond reproach in Scripture. Sometimes uh, there are things that are not necessarily wrong for us to do, uh, but nevertheless, somebody else who witnesses us there might get the wrong idea. And I think that's one of the reasons why Scripture calls us as Christians to not just be beyond reproach, but not even let a hint of evil be spoken among us. Now, does that mean that we're ostriches with our heads in the sand, you know, separate from society and all of that? No, it doesn't mean that. Uh, I, I believe that uh, we're to be in the world but not of the world, and to be in the world means that we're out there uh, encountering people where they are. But at the same time, uh, I, I think that there are those things that we have to consider about the, the effect that what we do has on other people as well as the effect that certain things can have on our own brains. And what I'm talking about there is uh, there are a number of movies out there that have certain elements that I know that I would never watch. For example, uh, there are so many movies today that have immorality in them. And in the midst of immorality, you often find violins playing in the background, making it feel so right, and how can it be wrong if it feels so right? You know that kind of thing. And so my wife and I purposely watch out for whatever kind of movies we do watch. And uh, I, I think that uh, for those people who, who are not concerned about that, who watch whatever you know, they like, including those immoral elements, I think it ends up showing itself uh, in, in their own worldview and in the, in the way that they, uh, they act as Christians. And one of the sad things about the polls today is the polls indicate that the behavior of Christians is not a whole lot different than uh, people, or people in secular society. So that's kind of a long-winded answer to your question, but I thought it was an important question uh, I, I think that we need to be in the world but not of the world. I think we need to wa guard what goes into our minds, and I think we all need, also need to watch out for how we how our behavior affects other people. So, Tech, thanks for the call. That's a great it's a great question.